Yeah, this is Black Light. The Motown sound in Elijah is the subject. Now we uh there's three things in Motown that's real real profound. And that's uh Barry Gordy's Motown, the big three auto. Well, I gotta say, I gotta say another thing too. Make it four. The Great Lakes. We're surrounded by, I think, five or four Great Lakes. Fresh water, the largest body of water in the world. Uh, and then the first thing is. The Nation of Islam, the founding of the Lost Found Nation of Islam. Uh, it was founded around when the stock market crashed in that, in that area, era. So, uh, the fourth of July, Independence Day, is when Master Farad came by himself, independent, to raise the consciousness of the black man. Now, the black man by nature is, is peaceful. He's not a warrior. He's been on the planet for trillions of years. They can't prove otherwise. When they go to find who the first man on the planet, no matter what part of the world they find you, it's always the black man or the black woman. So, they can only go back, when I say they, I'm talking about the Caucasian, can only go back 6,000 years. So he's trying to, to make sense of it all, because it's hard for him to swallow that the black man was here that long ago. So we are the original man. In the dictionary, he got it hooked up to primitive man. Aboriginal, the aboriginal means primitive man. But for himself, the Caucasian, he don't have primitive. He thinks of himself as a modern man. But he don't have the wisdom. He gets all his wisdom, his ancient knowledge, from the black man. Let's take, for example, the Dogon tribe, who is said to be remnants of ancient Kemet, or Egypt, as it presently is called. Uh, the Dogon tribe back in the 20s told him about the blue and red star. Now they was teaching in the nation of Islam about the blue and red star. I'm not going to go into the teachings of it. For a long time, they still teach it though, but not as much probably as they used to. But in the FOI class, they was talking about the blue and red star. You didn't hear no other leader talking about 
the blue and red star, which is the Sirius star system. I'm not going to go into that, 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 that science. So, when no other, you never heard it before, not even uh, our black archaeologists and our, our black astronomers and black uh, astrologers spoke about the deep science of the Sirius star system, the dog star that was learned by these Caucasians. And if any spoke, any black spoke about it, they got it from the Caucasians, they got it from the Dogon tribe. All this knowledge was here in Detroit. And, uh, Back in the 30s, they was teaching it. They were teaching about the tribe of Shabazz. They was teaching about pigmentation, which y'all call now melanin. They were teaching about the brown germ and the the black germ, which now y'all call the recessive gene and the dominant gene. You didn't hear no other preacher or no other politician or no other persons teaching this except within the nation of Islam. So Detroit right now has went back to sleep. But we're going to take care of that problem. We're going to take care of that problem. If there's anyone from Detroit tuning in on my videos, spread the word. We went back to sleep, but back in the 60s was a awakening, was a mass awakening because of the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And back in the 60s, Motown was booming. And, and you know that Barry Gordy was checking out Elijah. But he had a chance to be still in operation. But all of a sudden he uh, shut it down. So now they got a Motown museum you got to ask yourself, why, why, well, he sold stock in Motown, too, the name Motown, but as far as publishing and writing royalties, uh, he still is uh, in charge of that. But you got to ask yourself, why did Motown shut down? And that's because of the fact this is my contention, and I have some inside knowledge that the gangsters came in on him. So Lucius' uh, empire has got a little bit of history of Motown camouflaged in it, but Barry Gordy, he, he, he ain't bad as Lucius. <laughs> Lucius, 
Yeah, I mean, there's a uh, cookie. No, nah, they rough, man. But what I don't like about it is too much infighting. Too much separation between Lucius and Cookie. You know. And a house divided can't it ain't gonna it ain't gonna uh, last long. So but it's a it's a fictitious uh story anyway. Because uh, Bear Gordy didn't have the involvement of no Caucasians, just like Lucius didn't have no involvement. Now, Russell Simmons, he had, it was, it was Caucasians up in the mix. You know, Jews and stuff, so, so-called Jews, you know. But Bear Gordy, he didn't deal with, he didn't deal with, with Jews like that until the gangs until they moved in on him. So we gonna continue with this and we want you to know how to if you desire desiring about being a, a, a songwriter entertainer and you on YouTube and you got a million hits don't be a fool and uh, go on The Voice or uh, something like that. Uh, try to get a company to pick you up. You just got to handle your, handle your business. You know, Prince made the internet popular for selling uh, music, selling his music. But then he went back to the record company that he left, and you see what happened to him. So, if you're independent, stay independent. And we're gonna tell you some pointers on the next video. Black light out.